Canada's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Melanie Jolie, spoke to reporters last hour about the crisis in Haiti. The country has been overrun with corruption and violence. Gangs have most recently captured the airport in Port-au-Prince, making travel difficult. The CBC's Karina Roman joins us now in Ottawa. So, Karina, what did Jolie announce? Well, she announced an assisted departure operation, many would call it an evacuation, uh, beginning today, or actually it has already begun today, uh, targeted at the most vulnerable Canadians. So first of all, Canadian citizens, vulnerable in terms of um, medical conditions, but also in terms of if they're with children. Um, they have to have a valid passport to be able to take part in this. Um, she was scant on details because she doesn't want the operation to be targeted targeted in any way, but she did have this to say. Have a listen. We will be facilitating the travel of the most vulnerable Canadians in Haiti to the Dominican Republic. At present, the Dominican Republic has strict eligibility requirements for all those entering the country. Only Canadian citizens who have a valid Canadian passport will be eligible for this assisted departure. Now, they will be traveling to a safe spot in Haiti, she says, in a green zone, and then uh, helicoptered out to the Dominican Republic, um, where they would get assistance in figuring out their onward travel to Canada. Uh, if they can't afford that onward travel, there are loans available. Uh, Melanie Jolie would not say whether these helicopters are being... Uh, flown by military or or whether the military is involved in any way. I mean, I think some people do assume that is what's going on, uh, but that the airport generally is not functional right now because it has been taken over from gangs. So uh, airplane travel, not an option. Melanie Jolie also was very clear that there has been two years of travel advisories here in terms of telling Canadians not to travel there. Uh, I, 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 I get a sense of frustration, perhaps, from the government, but she did say that they do recognize that there has been a deteriorating situation. Uh, and so, of course, now if people can't even get out, uh, who want to get out uh, through the airport, that that's where the government has to step in. Uh, they also said that there were 3,000 Canadians registered uh, with Global Affairs Canada, 300 of those interested in leaving, but only 30 really, truly willing and ready to go uh, in this operation. Uh, and she said, as of right now, 18 have already departed. And Karina, what about uh, Canadians that don't meet this criteria? Well, exactly. So there's permanent residents, there's extended family of the Canadians who are eligible. Uh, Melanie Jolie was uh, quick to point out that the Dominican Republic has very, very restrictive documentation requirements. You have to have a valid Canadian passport. And that these restrictive um, uh, requirements apply to other countries as well. Canada's not alone in this. The U.S. faces the same problem. So they are looking at what other options they can provide, other countries in the, in the vicinity that perhaps have more, less stringent conditions that they could helicopter people to, uh, but they don't have that in place yet. So she's talked about news to come on that. Uh, she was also asked why now. Uh, the airport has been taken over from, by gangs, not just yesterday. This has been the situation for uh, a, a little while. Um, but it I think part of it is that uh, it doesn't look like that situation is turning around at all. So if you've got to get Canadians out and the airport is not an option, it's going to have to be government assistance, and it's going to have to be helicopters. Karina, thank you. The CBC's Karina Roman, live in Ottawa.